Hello. For the first time, any machine builder has exhibited a complete range of turning solutions which are intelligent and which have the capacity to be automated with robots along with instruments for measurement and auto correction. This is called closed loop manufacturing where what you make is measured, the data is analyzed and then the correction takes place so that you produce zero defectives. So starting from a very fast single spindle machine called Citius which is based on the Olympic motto of Citius, Altius, Fortius. We have moved on to a manually operated machine with intelligence and to a whole range of machines operated by robots. Finally, we have what we call a cell. The cell comprises of a Marshall machine with a robot which is mobile. It's a mobile robot on a seventh axis. So whatever time is spare with it, that time is used to attend to other machines and to do other operations. So that is the complete range of Marshall and people are delighted. We are getting a fantastic response. So. Uh, so we'll again speak to Mr. Gaurav Swaroop and just uh, question him, you know, is the industry ready for such kind of machines and our producers actually looking for it, that's one. Second thing is, if you look at it, Indian, India is always a price sensitive market, so how are these uh, cost effective for these people, you know, can they easily invest in them, yes. what would they look into? We've done an extensive return on additional investment analysis, return on the additional investment to convert a normal machine into intelligent automated. And we found in most cases the payback period, as we call it, is between one and two years. So even if you consider two years, it's nothing. If you get back that investment and then you have freedom from dependence on workers, freedom from manual inspection, zero defects and on-time deliveries. So all those are huge benefits which give a cutting edge, you know, the, to the, uh, you know, to the business, to the people. To the people. Uh, sir, just to understand from you, in terms of uh, Intex, the kind of inquiries you've seen, the quality of people that have come, what are the questions people are asking, your customers are talking to you, could you give us a sense of the discussions that are going on? See, basically the discussions are on three areas. The first thing people talk about is technology. What all are you showing and what are the benefits? So we explain the technology like vision sensors, cameras, lasers and the advantages. Second thing they ask us is how fast can we get the return on the investment. Third thing is about what kind of people do we need to run these machines. What is the kind of you know training required and all that. So we answer all these three questions about the technology, about the money and about the people. Thank you. Uh, we'll be speaking with Mr. Prashant Swaroop. Yes. And uh, so first question I have for you, sir, is uh, in terms of the products and the technology trends that you're seeing, yeah. could you shed some light on that? You know, what is reflected at Imtex as well? See, generally, whenever we come to an exhibition like Imtex, it's a platform for everybody to showcase the latest technologies, innovations, which are directly or indirectly related to the CNC machines. Right. Now, what we have generally seen here is that Generally, the major manufacturers are displaying technologies which were there earlier also. How we stand apart from them is that we are value adding on the CNC machines and giving something which probably countries like Germany, Japan, progressive countries are doing it. So the level, the difference between the technological level is almost the same. And if you see a line of machines, we are giving more intelligence to the machines. The robots are there everywhere, but the robots are working only as they are programmed. What we are doing is we are adding some artificial intelligence in the robots so that the difference between a human behavior and the robot reduces. That really helps in interacting more with the machine and getting the best out of the machine. Uh, sir, in terms of the industry, like auto sector is one sector which is growing and we see a lot of growth in that. But uh, now the aerospace, the defense, the medical, that is what people are talking of. Could you shed some light on these sectors, you know, and the kind of work that we are doing for these sectors? See, the thing is, CNC machines are basically mother machines, which are used whether it's the aerospace industry, auto industry, two-wheeler industry, or a general agriculture industry. Even the agriculture machines are made on CNC machines. Now what is happening is, after this new government coming in, 
and this trend and this campaign of Make in India, this government is encouraging more and more people to buy machines, especially Indian machines, and make all the components here for indigenous use also in the Indian market and also for export. So any economy which has to grow fast has to grow on the manufacturing industry. That's the most important. Other industries like uh, IT or other industries, they are all connected. Service industry is also connected to the manufacturing. So country's economy growth is directly related to the manufacturing industry. And we as builders of machine tools have to really work hard in making this campaign a success. That is why probably if you have seen our tagline is make in India, make on Marshall. Uh, sir, one more question is, uh, you have a, we have a vision, make in India, but there are some roadblocks that we have, you know, in any industry, there will be roadblocks, there are some obstacles. So, could you shed some light on what are these obstacles, what are the challenges that the manufacturers face? See, the most important challenge which I feel is that the government has to really help in pushing the industry to move forward. So, whenever you go out to set up an industry, there are a lot of red tapeism which is involved, those have to be removed so that the bureaucratic structure should become linear so that all kinds of whether it's land purchase or building a factory or getting orders all these things are streamlined first. Secondly educating people that we all have to move forward and this is the direction we have to move in. If we are able to push the people and the government helps in that then I think it will be very easier. So the Directorate of Industries, other organizations like MSME and PSICC, all these organizations should work together in making this a success. That is the way it can be done. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Pleasure.